What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Power Book 2 Ghost video if you're new. Now, this video is going to be about Kane and Brayden. There's something we got to talk about. If you're a fan of power, if you love power, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Power Book 2 Ghost, you get them. Now, I was going through all the trailers all over again and I was going through them real slow and I was really examining these trailers and trying to catch little things, you know, that we never noticed before. And I noticed this, when Kane is walking in this place and he's robbing the people that he's robbing, I think Brayden is with them. If you guys look in the back and you look at my picture with the circled area, that definitely has to be Brayden. I mean, that is a white boy. That's clear as day that it's a white boy. And what other white boy would Kane be rolling with? I feel like Kane has all gangster ass dudes on his team and none of them are white. But now he met Brayden and he was really impressed with Brayden's work. You know, his work on the block. Brayden was really moving the weight. He was really doing a good ass job. And Kane was so impressed with what Brayden was doing, you know, he was probably thinking to himself like, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using him. So he might be coming to Tariq's dorm room in the next episode to get Brayden, or he might call Brayden. We don't know if he exchanged numbers with Brayden or not. Maybe he did, and maybe he calls Brayden and asks him if he wants to be a part of something. And of course, Brayden is gonna be down, you know, he thinks Kane is crazy as hell. He already said that, that this dude is crazy, but he also said that he loves doing that type of stuff. You know, he said that he loves that shit. He was in the streets and he loved every single minute of it. He's just like Tommy, man. If you guys remember in the first episode ever of Power, Tommy is talking to Ghost and he even said, man, I'm never gonna quit this shit. I love this shit. And that's the exact same thing Brayden said to Tariq when Brayden got back. He said, man, look, Kane, he's crazy. He took me and Trace out to go sell some drugs, but I loved it, man. They loved me out there. He said, I love everything about it. So Kane definitely was feeling Brayden and Trace out, and he knows that Trace is not built for that life. Kane will probably end up putting a bullet in Trace, or maybe he'll have Brayden do it to see if he's really about that life. But I feel like Kane is sending Brayden on his next mission with him. They're robbing somebody. I don't know if they're short on some product or whatever, and they need some money to get some more. Or maybe um, he's having Brayden help him rob somebody to make back the money Brayden didn't have. If you guys remember, Brayden said to Kane, look, I don't got all your money right now. So maybe he's having Brayden do this to get him his money. That could be what's going on in this scene, but I definitely think that's Brayden because like I said, that is a white boy. And what other white boys do you know Kane running around? I don't think he has any white friends. Brayden is gonna have to make a decision. I feel like he's gonna have to decide whether it's his brother or it's his life because I feel like Kane or the Tejadas is gonna tell Brayden that maybe he has to kill Trace or they're gonna kill him and he has to make that decision quick. And maybe that's what's really gonna get him into the game for good. You know, he's gonna do that and then he's gonna become ruthless. He's gonna think to himself like, I killed my own brother, I can kill anybody now. And it's not that crazy to think about because this show has shown us fathers killing sons, sons killing fathers. It showed us all types of stuff. Kanan killed Jukebox, his own cousin. It showed a lot of family members killing other family members. So when you think about Brayden killing Trace, it's not that crazy to think about at all. Like it's so possible. And I feel like that's what we're leading up to. Um, Trace definitely is probably gonna die. At first I was thinking that maybe Riley will catch a bullet as well, but I don't think she'll end up dying. You know, maybe they'll keep her on the show because having her on the show keeps it very entertaining. Even though she's a horrible person for what she's doing, and people love to hate Riley, I don't think they're gonna kill her off. I want her to die, yes I do, cause she's annoying as hell, but 
I think Trace is even more annoying and he has to go. Somehow, some way, somebody's gonna kill him or he's gonna get himself killed. We just gotta wait and see because I don't think Trace is capable of keeping his mouth shut. He's just not capable of doing that. We know that he's gonna slip up. He's gonna say something to somebody, whether it's his parents or it's another cop or something because Ramirez already knows about this. But Trace and Braden do not know that Officer Ramirez is involved with the Tejadas. So I feel like Trace is gonna tell somebody something. He might go to one of the precincts downtown or something and tell another cop, or he might call his parents up. He might try to handle it that way. Cause he even said to Braden, like, look, we are the Westons. We can call our parents and handle this. Like we shouldn't just let this go. And Braden is like, yo bro, you need to chill. We're letting this go, drop it. I just think Trace is gonna be a major, major problem in the future. You know, I'm gonna talk about this more in another video. This video was basically just to talk about Brayden and Kane because I think Brayden will be joining Kane in a robbery. They're gonna be robbing somebody. We just don't know who it is and I hope that it's worth it. I hope the person that they're robbing, they get a lot of money out of it because if not, then what was the point? Like I said, I feel like Kane is gonna get Brayden to do this to pay him back his money. That's just what I think, that's my prediction. But what do you guys think? What do you think's gonna happen with Kane and Brayden going forward? Do you think this is Brayden in this picture helping Kane rob somebody? Do you think it's him? I definitely think it's him because like I said, Kane doesn't hang around no white boys. The only white boy on the show pretty much that's involved in this type of stuff is Brayden. So it has to be him. But what do you guys think? Comment down below and let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Comment your theories, thoughts, predictions, and everything else. Keep supporting your boy and I'll be continuing to bring you our Power Book 2 Ghost content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy Futuristic Mike and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.